Welcome, everyone, to the Tethers Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster. Cover uh, joining our host, the House Coat Gamer. Yo. Today, we are covering the Dauntless class starship. Originally, I originally seen in Star Trek Voyager, then appearing again in Star Trek Prodigy. Yes, yes, we know. Everyone's going to complain about that. But while Prodigy is not exactly the greatest Trek show yet, recent Trek show, it's still better than STD, Lower Decks, and debatably most of Picard, especially the first season. Yeah. Let's face it, first season of Picard was a freaking disaster. Yeah, first season of Picard was a disaster, but afterwards... It got better. Yeah. At least until they start, they ripped off a TNG comic. But, moving along. Yes. As such, the Dauntless is a... is going to have a very early service date. Presumably 2382 or right around that date because it was in service just before the Romulan supernova. Right. So, we'll go with 2382. And scale-wise... It wasn't much bigger than the Intrepid class. Right, probably the same amount of crew, so scale 4. Yep. Alright, so that gives us 58 points to work with. We will put... so we'll start by putting... 9 points in everything, and, I'll get, and then we'll have 4 more points to distribute before we start making modifications. This thing is designed to be a speed demon. Right, so probably a fairly high engine score. I'd say at least 11. Very. Yeah. The Starfleet variant of the ship would also have advanced computer systems and science facilities. So, computers 10, sensors 10? Yep. Of course, right. because this is not exa is designed more as a long-range science vessel than a warship. Yeah. yeah. And we're at, we're at 58 points, now we can remove points for further additions. So, drop weapons down to 8 or 7? Yep. We'll start with 8, and we'll put that point into computers. Definitely a necessity. Yeah. This thing so needs a revamp. Yeah. So, comms 9, computers 10, engines 11, sensors 10, structure 9, weapons 8. Works well enough for me. Yeah. Alright, departments. As usual, three points. Can't put more than... Can't put more than two in any one department. Say at least one point in science. Yep. Engineering because the quantum slipstream drive. Yep. And we could put a second point in either of those or a point in con. Most definitely con. This thing is designed as a long, long range science ship. Alright, fair enough. So con plus. So, one point each in con, engineering, and medicine. Now, talents. Quantum slipstream drive, obviously. Right. That'll be a special rule. Special rule, quantum slipstream, we'll, we'll say burst drive, just like uh, the vest does and everything. 
burst my ass. Right. This thing pioneered the design. It doesn't need to do short bursts. Right. Okay, so we'll put that in as special under special rules. Rules. Special rules. Quantum slipstream drive. I alternate propulsion system. Alternate propulsion system. Did do quantum slipstream drive. Okay, so for talents, I'd say maybe high resol, either high resolution sensors or advanced sensor suites. Both. Okay. Like I said, long range science ship. And if it weren't designed by Arcturus, it would be a good replacement for the Intrepid, even though the Intrepid is still useful. Yep. Okay. I think we're good there. It still leaves room for the profile and free talent. So, weapons. Phaser arrays? What little there are. Yeah. It needs some armaments, at least. I know, but I'm having a hard time trying to find the phaser arrays. Yeah. I can certainly find the torpedo launchers. Yeah. Photon torpedoes, probably. Yeah. I found two of them, but they're in that little lip. Ah. Oh, joy. Yeah, we can... Uh, as you said, this thing definitely needs a uh, new variant, a, a retool. Yeah, just enough to give it more. It's close enough to screen accurate, but it's not that close. Yeah. Anyway, moving along. Yes, strength two tra, uh, strength three tractor beam, and that's pretty much it for the weapons. Traits: Federation starship. Quantum Slipstream Prototype, probably. Alien Design. Ah, Alien Design. Originally designed by Species 116. The original <laughs> Dauntless was used as a trap. Designed to take in, a gre <laughs> take in the Voyager crew after the Species 8472 war. In Voyager's defense, however, they knew nothing until they were forced into fluidic space. And the Borg yeah. weren't exactly forthcoming, which people yeah. seem to forget. Yeah. So Arcturus drove them onto the ship and tried to kill them. Or get them assimilated. Either or. And it didn't work. Regardless, Voyager kept the schematics for the Dauntless in its database, and upon its return, Starfleet decided, Okay, this works, we're gonna adapt it, and make it actually functional as a ship and not a assimilation death trap. Yeah. Cue so. the USS Dauntless as seen in Prodigy, which is slightly different. The cells are a little bit lower. Yep. And there are more obvious weapon ports. Yep. So, that is pretty much it. We already have the Quantum Slipstream Drive for special rules. So that is the Dauntless. A trap that was untrapped. Yep. It almost sucks to be Arcturus. Poor bastard must be spinning in his alcove. Yep. As usual, link in the description. Bye. See.